everyone, this is Mrs. Snowbeck. Today we are going to review Unit 8 and get ready for the quiz. And so number one here says, find the perimeter and area of the parallelogram. Remember, a parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides. So the top and bottom are parallel, and the left and right are parallel. Now it says they want us to find the perimeter and area. The perimeter, if you remember, is the distance around the outside. So we're going to have to add this side, this side, this side, and this side. Now two of the sides I know. I know the top is 50 meters, and then this bottom length also must be 50 meters because opposite sides are congruent in a parallelogram. But what I don't know is the length of, I'll put an X over here, I don't know this side where I just put the X. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the triangle over here on the right, and I'm going to let me just erase some of these pink lines here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this triangle, I'll outline it in, in red, and I'm gonna do the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm gonna do a little a squared plus b squared equals c squared to try to find that distance x that I need for the perimeter. So I'm gonna go 10 squared plus 35 squared equals x squared. 10 squared is 100. I know that one. 35 squared, I'm gonna to have to type in my calculator. I got 1,225. Now if I add those together, I get 1,325 equals x squared, and then don't forget, take the square root. So I'm gonna type that in my calculator. And I got x is approximately 36.4 meters, I guess it would be. I'm going to erase this x now, and I'm going to put over here 36.4. And remember, the side across from it will also be the same. So this side over here will also be 36.4. Well, now I can get the perimeter. I'm going to add up the 50, the 36.4, the 50, and the 36.4. So P equals 50 plus 36.4 plus 50 plus 36.4. And I'm gonna take a minute and type that in my calculator. And I got 172.8 meters. And that's your perimeter, your P. Now, area, we also need to find the area. Area for a parallelogram is base times height. Well, the base is the 50. The height has to be perpendicular to that, so that's the 35. So it's pretty simple. We're just gonna take 50 times 35. I go to my calculator, I type that in. Area is 1750 and it would be meters squared. Remember, units are always squared when you're dealing with area. Number two, find the area of the shaded triangle. First of all, triangle, it's going to be base times height, divide by two. That's our formula for area of a triangle. The trickiest part here is figuring out what's the base, what's the height. So. The base and the height have to be perpendicular. We're dealing with the shaded triangle. 23 is going to be your base. The height, however, is way over here. That would be the height of how tall is the triangle from top to bottom. And so the height is 24. So to find the area of this triangle, we'll do 23 times 24 and then divide by two. And I got 276 meters squared. I'm gonna have you pause the video here for a minute and see, can you remember the formula for area of a trapezoid? So go ahead, pause the video and see if you can write down the formula that you would use. If you're writing down area equals height times base one plus base two, divide by two, you got the right formula. 
Now I think we have all of our numbers. We have one extra number that we will not need to use. The height is the 15, it's the dotted line. The bases are the two sides that are parallel, so the 14 and the 24. And then it's divide by two. And then you're gonna have to type this into your calculator. So I type it in just like it looks with the parentheses. And when I do that, go ahead and pause the video if you wanna practice typing that in. I got 285 and it would be inches squared. All right, please pause the video again and see if you can remember what's the formula for area of a rhombus. Pause the video, try to write down the formula. Area is diagonal one times diagonal two divided by two. Now in this case, the 12 is only halfway across. This side would also be 12. So one of the diagonals is 12 plus 12 or 24. Now the other diagonal is nine and nine. So nine plus nine is 18. So if I was going to find the area, I would do 24 times 18 divide by two. When I did that, I got 216 and this looks like it's labeled feet squared. Great, try to write down the formula for area of a kite. If you wrote down the exact same formula that we just used for rhombus, you're correct. Rhombus and kite use the same formula, diagonal one times diagonal two divided by two. I can see one of my diagonals is 34. I can see this distance over here is 100. That's gonna be equivalent to this diagonal. So one diagonal is 34, the other diagonal is 100. So here we go, area equals 34 times 100 divided by two. And I think if we do that correctly, we get 1700 centimeters squared. That was a really quick recap of some of the things we learned in Unit 8. So will you guys now try Worksheet Unit 8 Review. Have a great day.